Well, what's up, everybody? My name is Flip Trick. Screwing around right now in DC Universe Online. I've been on a on an MMO itch lately. Kind of, kind of miss MMOs. I don't know. Ever since Neverwinter came out, I started playing that. Couldn't really get into that one. I don't like the the way, like the class balance and the pay to win aspect. I'm not a huge fan of all that. So. Kind of got turned off by that one, but I still wanted to play something. So I tried. Out, I tried to get back into WoW, and I might be doing that. I don't know. I haven't really decided. Thought about playing uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic. Trying to get back into that. Not sure about that one either, actually. Um, but I want to stay on the PlayStation and remember that this is available. Played this at launch. I never. I never level capped. I kind of wish I would have. Um, but I want to give it a shot. I'm going to be going for the Platinum here, probably slowly working towards it. Right now I'm just trying to learn the game, trying to figure out what's going on. Because so much has changed since I started playing it, like, I think it was two years ago. So, checking this out, so far what I've played of like, um, the Platinum requires you to get, like, six level capped characters, so I'm going to be working on that. Right now I'm just playing with the, the new quantum powers that got released. And thought I'd showcase this a little bit while I was recording my Fridays with the Trick video, so got a few things to talk about and thought it'd be fun to give you guys something to watch in the background. But anyway, this is the, the quantum character. One of the new powers that just came out with the Infinity Crisis DLC. It just came out two weeks ago, I think. Something like that. Recently. Pretty powerful. I'm kind of into it. I don't really know what to compare it to since it's been a while. Um, but we're gonna play through this, then we'll probably make a healer, and then try out the different tank classes and see which one I end up liking. And we'll mess around with endgame once I finish up the platinum, and then we'll start going to the other trophies and checking out some of the raids, seeing what that's all about. Probably be live streaming this quite a bit as I or once I start figuring out the game a little bit more. Got five more of these workers to take out. We'll be good. Uh, anyway, um, I haven't done the podcast in a couple weeks. It seems to be really hard to coordinate four people's schedules, uh, considering everyone is in a different time zone and we're we're each in different countries. So I think we're probably canceling that. That probably won't be going on any, any longer, which is kind of a shame because I actually really enjoyed doing that. It was it was a fun time. So. Um, since that's not happening, I'm kind of just going to rebrand how I've been doing all the other stuff on my YouTube channel. We're going to go back to the, the daily news that I used to do about a year ago. That was always fun to do, it kept, kept me in touch with everything, so instead of having like a PlayStation oriented podcast, we'll just have like a video game centric news channel or news video probably daily um, if there's nothing exciting going on in any given day then we'll just uh, we'll just skip that day uh, but we'll probably do that we'll probably do it with like a like a trophy tip video based on whatever I'm playing at the time not really sure how that I don't really know what my plans on it or on that, but it'll probably be like a daily vlog where I just talk about whatever I'm playing, whatever I'm up to, my thoughts on things, and whether or not I think it's worth playing. Um, I plan to be live streaming. I, I know last, at the beginning of this month, I plan on doing the PlayStation Appreciation live stream, kind of just live streaming games every single day, just like PlayStation Classics, PlayStation Exclusives, pretty much just playing PlayStation every day until the PS4 comes out. Um, still plan on doing that. Just have it I mean, when I wanted to start it. There's a lot of things that weren't really working out, so I'm gonna start that up. I think we're gonna try to do it Monday. I think that's that's the plan at least right now. Uh, last month, when I wanted to start, the internet was down, and I had problems with that. Trying to get get that fixed, it just wasn't working. Um, and then I don't know, just other stuff came up. So. That's what happened with that. I still want to do it though, because there's still a ton of games I want to play. Uh, Ratchet Deadlock just came out for those people who had Full Frontal Assault 
Uh, since there's, it was delayed on the Vita for so long, they gave everyone who originally purchased it deadlocked, which comes with another Platinum. So we'll just add that to my list of Ratchet & Clank games that I need to play. And that'll probably be the, be the first series that we play through. So I'm planning on starting that on Monday, be live streaming it the entire time. Uh, go for all the Ratchet & Clank Platinums. Be Ratchet 1, 2, 3, All for 1. Might do a co-op playthrough on All for 1. And then we'll play Deadlock somewhere in there. I don't know, I kind of want to start with Deadlock. I tried it out for 10 minutes or so to see what it was about. And it, what I played I actually enjoyed, so... I think it might be something that I might bump up on the list. I don't know. I don't know how the story coincides with the other game, so I don't know if it's important to play it in order, or if I can just start with that one and I really don't. But we'll see what happens. I um, also checked out Call of War's Gunslinger, which came out uh, this past Tuesday. And that's actually looks pretty interesting, so I might be doing a, a walkthrough on that. Uh, we just started Resident Evil Revelations. That started yesterday. I think a few more videos are coming out today. Um, we'll be finishing that series up. Fuse comes out uh, this upcoming Tuesday. I've been, I'm kind of looking forward to that. Should be doing a walkthrough on, on that one. Confirmed um, command. The not 100% on that, though. Just because of all the other things I'm going to be working on. I don't know about time for that. I really need to catch up on everything else that I've been working on, or been starting. And I don't know if I'll have time to squeeze that in there. If I do, then I'll, I'll get it done. Um, I still have Metro that I need to finish up. I haven't uploaded any videos on that one yet. And I started off on the Ranger Hardcore mode, which was not... Having never played Metro, that was not a good place to start because there are times where it's like, put on your gas mask and you have no UI at all, so I have no idea what I'm doing. It took like 10 to 20 minutes for me to figure that out. So I think I might just do a, like a, an original, like a normal playthrough, figure the game out, and then uh, the walkthrough will be the Ranger Hardcore playthrough after I figure out how to play the game. Um, but yeah. We'll be live streaming every day starting Monday. I want to do it um, in the beginning of June, but it would just make more sense to do this on Monday, so I'll be doing that. Um, probably, I don't know, we're gonna, I want to finish up Resident Evil. Actually, what I've played of that I've, I've really enjoyed. Um, about halfway through the game right now. Pretty, pretty into it. Um, and then I would check out the raid mode, which is actually kind of cool. Um, so. And after playing that a little bit, it make me, makes me kind of want to go for the Platinum. I originally didn't plan on that. Um, so we might be live streaming some of that. Then uh, after Ratchet, I think the plan after that is the Infamous series. We'll go through that one. So, if you haven't been to my live stream channel, it's twitch.tv slash flip trick. I'm starting to get somewhat of a consistent audience. Not, it's not a huge audience, but people are showing up regularly and hanging out with me a little bit, so it's kind of fun. I'd like to see more people there, but I don't know. Once I start doing it more consistently, I think that'll help a bit. I'm actually just going to hide on this building right now and finish talking to you guys. I'm kind of getting distracted. Okay, so be live streaming this. I'm going to be going for the Platinum after we finish this up. Then I will check out the end game, see if that's anything. Um, we've been hearing about Wildstar for like about two years is how long I've been following on that. Really, really interested in it. Seems probably like the closest MMO to WoW since WoW. You know, a lot of games that people have said, oh, this is going to be the WoW killer. I, th I think I heard that with Star Wars. That was the big one. That was the first one that I believed could have been the WoW killer. I don't want to say that about Wildstar because nothing else has been over been able to overcome WoW. Um, but Wildstar looks like it has some pretty high potential, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm trying to get into the beta, I haven't been able to yet, but I would really, really like to. I want to check that out. It looks very interesting. Pretty, ex pretty excited for, for that game to come out whenever it does. Uh, they, th they said they're shooting for 2013, so hopefully that holds true. Uh, I just really, really want to get back into an MMO. I kind of miss the the high level of rating that I used to be involved in. So I want to get back into that, and I just don't know which game I need to pursue. Probably WoW. That I don't know. It just try, get, trying to get back into WoW just feels so stale because I'm so used to it, and it's just I don't know. I feel like I need something new. So I don't know. I'm gonna. I'll find something. Then we'll be 
playing that. Um, but yeah, we've got that going on. Live streams coming up. We're going to be doing the news videos, so those should be pretty exciting. Um, have a lot of news coming up, so or news that's happened in the past this past week with the, the new Xbox announcement and all the upcoming E3 news. So should be a lot to talk about. So I think that'll be pretty pretty in informative. So if you guys want to check those out, that'll be starting on Monday as well. Um, it's kind of going to take place of the podcast, and then we'll, I don't know, I'm trying to take all the, all the things that I did in the podcast and just put it on this channel, kind of change up my format of the channel, kind of rebrand the channel a little bit, get back to what I used to be doing, I don't know, that seemed to be working out pretty well, so instead of just walkthroughs like it has been lately, um, kind of add some more variety, so I feel like I've just been rambling this whole time. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, you guys, if you guys have any ideas of anything you'd like to see on the channel, any PlayStation series, like PlayStation exclusive series that I need to get through, just let me know. Um, I'm looking forward to playing all of them. So, if there's anything you want to see ahead of time or see sooner than others, let me know, and I'll jump on that first. Um, like I said, I, I want to start with Ratchet. That's always been my favorite series. So that's probably where we'll start and then we'll just kind of play by ear from there. So should be good. Oh, uh, we also have Borderlands 2. I didn't talk about that. I still needed. I downloaded the Krieg character and he actually seems pretty cool. So that walkthrough should be coming soon as well. It should be a full walkthrough of Borderlands 2, all the DLC. I'll play as Krieg. So if you want to check that out, see what he's about. It's pretty exciting. So keep an eye out for that as well. Um, yeah. Hopefully you're following me on Twitter, um, at FlipTrick, everything that I'll, like anytime I'm starting a live stream, I'll announce it on there, so that'll probably be the easiest way to keep in touch, unless you are actually following me on Twitch.tv, um, then you'll actually get alerted when I start live streaming, so I should have a live stream schedule coming, we'll probably start that on Monday once I figure out exactly how I want to set up this live stream schedule, I don't know. I really decided it's probably gonna be it won't be like the same time every every day. Um, I don't know some sometimes it'll be a morning stream, sometimes it'll be an evening stream. Just kind of depends on my schedule and how things are going. So I think that's actually better because it kind of if you aren't able to make like a seven o'clock stream every single night and you still want to check out the stream, then you'll be able to when we switch it up. So I think having that variety is actually a good thing rather than a bad thing. So that's what I'm gonna be doing over the the next few months so hopefully you guys are interested in that hopefully you guys are looking forward to it keep an eye out for all that stuff and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching